answer the prayer, answer the prayer. Say, you give me answer in my chair. Answer the sing, answer the sing. Your blessing just a shower, shower. And he said, answer the sing, answer the sing. Your blessing just a shower, shower. Si 
Baba mi lo je, olorun wa palaba. Baba mi lo je, olorun wa pa oye. Baba mi lo je, aduro ti ni lo jo isoro. Baba mi lo je, so un lo to mi so no. Baba mi lo je, olorun wa ye ra ye o. Let me call it she, let me my you do wa. Hey, my 
All right, now we want to welcome the celebrants. Pastor Cornell, would you please help me? As I mention his name, you clap your hands together and we're standing ovation if you can stand up. Pastor Cornell. Pastor Cornell Balogun. Please put your hands together for him. We welcome you. Celebrants of the day.
Gentlemen, you are welcome. Shall we please bow down our heads as we, as we pray? Everlasting Father, we thank you. Ancient of days, we appreciate you. Our Lord and our King, we magnify your name for your Son, whom you have, we have come to celebrate today. Thank you for the womb that carried him. Thank you for the day he was brought forth into this world. Thank you for the day you extended your saving grace unto him. Thank you for his marriage. Thank you, Lord, everlasting Father, for divine protection. When we read the biography of this, your son, we know it could only be you for divine protection. We appreciate you. Many of his colleagues had died on the battlefield, but Lord, because you have separated him from the womb to be a vessel unto honor in your hand. You magnified yourself in his life and you protected him. Father, we cannot thank you enough. To you be glory, Lord Almighty, in Jesus' name. From day one till this, this 68th day, uh, birthday, 68th years on this planet Earth, Father, it could only be you. Father, bless be the name, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray, O oh God, that everyone who has come to celebrate today, you will bless our lives. You will go with us in this celebration, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every prayer that will be released upon your son, you will answer by fire. Thank you for Johnny Mercies. You have granted the family members, friends, colleagues who have come to celebrate your son. We give you all the glory. Blessed be the name of God. Take preeminence at this celebration and let your name alone be praised. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of God. In Jesus' victorious name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please wave your hands and shout hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to praise and worship the God that has preserved a special missionary, we call him Wonderful Missionary. Please shall we be upstanding as we worship the Almighty God that has given us today and has made today a beautiful day. And he has given you the grace to be alive, not just to be alive, you are here today to celebrate the Almighty God. Please shall we be upstanding as we praise and worship our God. Can you just wave your hands to the living God? Please just wave your hands and just love him. Just glorify him. Who is like unto him? He's the Alpha. He's the Omega. 
The God that does not have an ending. The God that does not have a beginning. The God that does not need to rise from his throne before he can destroy. The savior of our soul. The lover of man. The ancient of days. The mighty man of war. The mighty man in battle. The one who was. The one who is. The one who is to come. The everlasting king of glory. The God with the mighty hands to save. The God who is God all by himself. He does not need the help of man. The God who is ancient of days. The mighty, mighty God. Lift up your hands. Lift up your voice and just bless his holy name. Rabo seke yere ba shanda na ba na ba. Yeke kere boro ma yanda na ba. Yeke kere boro mo shende na ba na ba na ba na ba. Yibro mo zente le boro ma shanda na ba na ba na ba na ba. Tele le 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 boro ma shanda na ba na ba na ba. Thank you Jesus. Le bro kaka ya na ba na ba na ba. Yeah Jesus. Le bro ma shanda na ba na ba na ba. We give you praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. Tell them, tell them, tell them. We've come to tell Papa God thank you. Tell them, tell them, tell them. We've come to tell Papa God thank you. Ah, 
Great people of God, can we all put our hands together for perfected praise? A round of applause for them. Expect more of these this afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to celebrate a man who is not just a father to his children alone, but a father to all. And please, wherever you are, if you are listening to my voice, I will need you to kindly settle down and have your seat. My name is Ajele, and I consider this a big honor and a great privilege for me to be here. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, can we all give a valuable and a sincere applause for Pastor Colonel Patrick Oluwaren Milekun A round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen. If you know you are going to be here to celebrate the 70th, 80th, 90th birthday, a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. I understand that we have so many dignitaries, special guests, and uh, men of God in the house. I'm still trying to get the names so that I can acknowledge their presence quickly. This afternoon, we are still going to be having different groups and gifted people who do us the honor of coming to this beautiful stage to minister to God and to minister to us. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, permit me to invite right about now for a special number and a special presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a valuable and a sincere applause one more time for Kingdom Brass. Thank you.
Kingdom Brand, thank you very much. Don't worry, you're going to continue. A quick announcement, Pastor Williams, wherever you are, your attention is needed. Pastor Williams, wherever you are, your attention is needed. So ladies and gentlemen, continue to enjoy the good music being presented by the Kingdom Brass. I'm so sorry for that, you can continue, thank you.
If you are a lover of good music, can we put our hands together for the Kingdom Brass? Thank you very much. I'm sure all of you will play this instrument when you get to heaven. Am I right or right? And we all know that we've gotten to a stage where we stop giving praise to God because of what we want from Him. But we've gotten to the level whereby we give praise to God because of who He is. So this afternoon we should have the understanding that giving praise to God is a protocol. It is not what is convenient for us, but what is demanded. So ladies and gentlemen, it is an opportunity for us all to give praise to our God. Even the Bible confirmed it that it's a protocol when the Bible said that I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart and I will enter his court with praise. To take us further this beautiful afternoon, permit me to invite to the microphone a man of God that I respect and love so much. He is blessed and he is anointed. Ladies and gentlemen, for this moment, I need you all to please focus your attention here as we listen to a short exhortation by no other person than Pastor Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Pastor Williams, Akim Bamijo. Can we all put our hands together for him? You're welcome, Daddy. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Even if you are eating, somebody praise the Lord. One more time, lift your voice and shout a big hallelujah. The Lord is good. Shall we pray? Father, we want to thank you for your graciousness, your, the life that you have given to us, the grace that we have received from you, ability to breathe in and breathe out, ability to eat and to drink, Ability to sleep and to wake. Ability to come to this life and grow up to 60 years of age. Father, we thank you. On behalf of our Father in the Lord, Kone Balub, we say, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. As we listen to your word very briefly this afternoon, speak to us. Do a miracle in our life. And for the celebrant, Grant him long life, prosperity, and good health in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Somebody say a big amen. Uh, one more time, we want to say you are all welcome in Jesus' name. And to the celebrant, we say congratulations. Happy birthday to you. Our prayer is that you will live longer. God will beautify you with good health for the rest of your life in Jesus' name. And for everyone who comes here, thank you for coming. The Lord will even beautify you too with long life, prosperity, and good health in Jesus' name. I want to read from Psalm 103. Psalm 103. Um, we'll just take verses 1, 2, 3, and 4. Psalm 103, 1 to 4. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth thy iniquities, forgiveth all thy iniquities who healeth all thy diseases 
who redeemed thy life from destruction who redeemed thy life from destruction who redeemed thy life from what from destruction now there are so many things we can talk about in this passage but primarily we want to thank the Lord for the life of our retired colonel pastor Balogu we want to say one more time congratulations in Jesus name bless you so the psalm says bless the Lord O my soul and all that is within me so everything that is within you your liver your pancreas your stomach everything should bless the Lord to bless the Lord means to praise him now where I want us to really concentrate on this afternoon that verse 4 it says that who redeemed thy life from destruction there are so many things that have come our way you and I even the celebrants that our lives could have been terminated our lives could have been become uh, gone oblivion but somehow God intervened and today we can celebrate with the celebrant can you shout a big hallelujah so when the Bible says who the person who delivers or who save you who preserve you who preserve your life from destruction the question is this what is life what is life and very briefly I want to compare life to one or two things so that we can appreciate what exactly we are talking about somebody said life is a war life is a battle in other words you either win or you lose life is a battle Ebenezer Obey made that rendition long time ago that the enemy of a small child begins from the cradle you go to school you have enemies you come out of school you have enemies enemies within enemies without but in all the, in the midst of all these enemies God has delivered your soul God has delivered your life from destruction and my prayer is that in life you will continue to win I'm praying for you I say you will continue to win you will never have to lose in Jesus name somebody again said life is a competition competition there is competition in life and you either uh, win the competition or you lose out so what we are saying this afternoon is that for many of us we are competing with some people out there there are so many people out there that are competing with you in the midst of all competition you will win in the name of Jesus number three life is liking unto what you are expecting your expectation expectation so you either get your expectation or you didn't get your expectation my prayer that God that has preserved your life to see the beauty of today you will meet all your expectations in Jesus name another person some other people say that life is like a market a marketplace and in a marketplace you trade and when you trade, it's either you make gain or you make losses. For people here who might have been making losses in life, today, God will change the equation. You will begin to make profit in life in the name of Jesus Christ. I say you will make profit. If you are shouting amen, shout above your, the top of your voice. Say a big amen. Now, somebody again, liking life to a restaurant that is you have come to eat to drink and to die but my prayer is that you will not die i say you are not dying yet you will fulfill your destiny in the name of jesus life again according to the wisest man king solomon say life is nothing that's why he said vanity on vanity all is vanity but my prayer is that the vanity in life will not come near you. 
I said your life will not be in vain in the name of Jesus. Uh, this one is interesting. Somebody compare life to a football match. In a football match, you compete with the other, uh, other, other party. In other words, as you are playing the football to score, others are playing the football against you to score against you. So in life, you either score or you concede goals. One more time, I pray for everyone here. You will score your goal in Jesus' name. I repeat, I say, you will score your goals in Jesus' name. And now somebody said that life is a gift. I cannot but agree with that. Nobody comes of his own. God gave you the gift of life. And so, you either appreciate this gift of life or you despise it. Now, I think our colonel has already made a good use of this. Coming here, calling all of us to come over and make good use of and appreciate the almighty God. My prayer is that your appreciation to God shall be accepted in Jesus' name. And now somebody said that life is a journey. And maybe this is where I'm going to stop. Life is a journey. A journey is a distance between one point and the other. From the day of your birth till the day you are entered, life continues. So life is like a journey. Life on this earth is like a journey. Life is like a journey. And now, when you travel the journey of life, you cannot but make some bends. You cannot but meet some mountains. You cannot but descend some valleys. I'm sure in your little life, you must have descended some little, little valleys. And you must have climbed some, uh, some mountains. For everyone who is here, every mountain ahead of you, the Lord will help you to climb. And the Lord will carry you above your mountains in the name of Jesus. So, today, we are all gathered to celebrate God in the life of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Balogu. My prayer, one more time, even as we journey in this life, may your life count in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Almighty God add value to your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now, anyone who journeys this life and does not have Jesus Christ with him or with his, himself, such a person has no life in him. Jesus Christ told us and said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. There are people on this earth, they are alive, but they are not lively. <clears throat> They are alive, but they are not lively. So, if you are alive, you don't have Jesus into your life, it means that you are not lively. You can only be lively when Jesus comes to your life. And when the Lord Jesus comes to your life, your liveliness will have no bond. I'm sure there could be one or two people here who are having terrible problems, terrible nightmares, terrible life altogether. You are just here. You don't know where your tomorrow lies. You are just here. You don't know what the tomorrow has for you. You are just here. You just came thinking that let me just go. And well, what tomorrow has, I don't know. I'm here to let you know that if you can accept Jesus into your life, if you can accept Jesus just as Connor has Jesus in his life, if you can accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, I can assure you, not only will you have life, but you will have liveliness this afternoon. May I request that every one of us here will bow our heads even as we pray. Please, everybody, please, just two minutes, everybody. Let's bow our heads to pray, everybody. And I repeat, everybody. Mom, please, let's bow our heads to pray, everybody. Stop walking around, let us pray. If there is any prayer you are to offer this afternoon, is that Lord, everyone say Lord. 
I thank you for my life. I want you to give me liveliness. I want to be lively. Please pray just for one minute. I will round up in another one minute. Lord, let my life, make my life lively. You see, you can be livelier than what you are now and who you are now. God can give you liveliness far much more than you have now. He says, the Lord save you. He save your life from destruction. Ah, what a good God we serve. What a great God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. A bigger amen. Now please, tip bow your heads even as I pray for you. If you are here, you want to give your life to Jesus Christ so that you, your life can be livelier. Please lift your right hand above your heads even as we pray. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? Lift your hand up even as I pray. Thank you there. God bless you over there. Thank you. Thank you. My Father, my God, I want to thank you for this miracle that has happened. All these people who are raising up their hands, they want their lives to be livelier. I pray that you will come into their lives in the name of Jesus. Because it is Jesus in somebody's life that can make that life livelier. Beginning from today, receive Jesus and let Jesus dwell in you in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord will write your name in the book of life. And I pray the Lord will deliver your life from destruction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And for everyone here, my prayer for you is that beginning from this hour, what will make your life lively, God will give you. And I repeat, that thing that will give your life, that will make your life livelier every day, receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to God forever. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Say a very big amen. And let somebody shout a big hallelujah. Can we open the hands together for Jesus? Thank you very much, uh, Pastor William Sakim Bamijo, for that wonderful but yet a uh, short exhortation. We we'll celebrate you, Daddy. God bless you, sir. May God refill you with his blessings and anointing. We're going to be having a special prayer for the celebrant. And to take us further, permit me to invite to the microphone someone who is going to do us the honor of praying for the celebrant and his family. Can we make welcome with a warm applause, Pastor Kuo? You're welcome, sir. I think the celebrants and the family should come forward. Come forward with the singing. Singing praise God to God. Thank you, Jesus. You are the lover of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In your generation, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you are the lover of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In all generations, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. Please, I want everyone to please stretch forth your hands towards these celebrants and the wife and say a word into their life. 
Say a word into their life. Say a word to their life. As they have come forward now, say a word. Say a word to their life. Say a word to their life. Pray for them. As they are celebrating, they will celebrate more years. They will celebrate even more than 100 years. Pray for them. Pray for them. Pray for them. They are worthy of our praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I want a louder amen, please. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, you who knows all things and you can do all things, thank you for celebrating of today. Thank you for allowing your son to be alive. That even when he was in the military, a lot of his mates have died, but you kept him. You protected him. You provided for him. Ah, Father, we say thank you. Glory be to your holy name. For seeing his sister's birthday today is you and you alone. Be thou glorified in the name of Jesus. As you celebrating and thanking you today, let him celebrate more years to come in the name of Jesus. As you celebrate 60 this year, you will celebrate 70. You will celebrate 80. You will celebrate 90. You will celebrate 100 years. Even more than what you desire, God will allow you to celebrate it in Jesus' name. God who kept you today, will keep you forever in the name of Jesus. God who have kept you today and you are celebrating, you will celebrate more years to come. And God will surprise you. Surprise your children. Surprise your grandchildren. You will not bury any of your children in the name of Jesus. You will not bury any of your grandchildren in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever is your heart desire for your for your gifts of birthday, the Lord will grant it to you today in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever you have prayed for and is not yet answered, God will answer before the end of this month in the name of Jesus. And the name of the Lord will be glorified through you. So shall it be. So will it be in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Let everybody say louder, amen. Let someone shout hallelujah. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I... I want to see the indulgence of the pro programmer and um, all my fathers and my mothers in the house. I'm not on the program, but I just want to see the moment of opportunity to express a few words before we get carried away with what some people would think is entertainment. But it's not entertainment. If I call people together for entertainment, then it's a wasted venture. But this gathering is a deliberate, deliberate effort to give glory to God. I am very, very glad and very, very thankful that all my fathers and mothers in the Lord, many of them are not here. As a matter of fact, the people that are not here are either in Abuja doing the same thing we are doing here because our daddy is holding uh, Abuja Holy Ghost Night. I'm sure 
if that is not what is happening, this place would have attracted more people. And I mean real people than what we have right now. So I want to thank all my fathers and mothers in the house. I will not want to mention names because I don't want to offend anyone. There are so very many here. The Lord knows you and I give you all the respect. Some of them have spoken already. Like uh, our daddy that prayed for me. Daddy Ku. Uh, I mention his name because he's already he's the one that prayed for me. Uh, he is the first provincial pastor that I, I had in the Redeemed Christian Church of God in Kaduna way back in 1996. Incidentally, my parish pastor is here too, Pastor G.C. Pai. And uh, praise the Lord, but I don't want to go into that. I also want to apologize because uh, I came late. Because I faced a lot of contradiction. I went to, there are two parties taking place. And it's an allegory of heaven and earth. And I pray that God will give us understanding. I have my people, the less privileged. They can't fit in here. But they want to celebrate me. They are my people. And left to me, this party should have been combined with them there. But just like Jesus Christ, let your will be done. So I believe it's the will of God that this is happening. But left to me, it will have been no partition. So I had to spend some time with them there. They were calling me and calling me before I had to come here. Well, let the will of God be done. But if it is my will, this won't happen. When I'm celebrating my 70th birthday, if the Lord tarries, we have to turn that place to London. If that will make people like those people who are here to come there. I wonder that if many of us were in the time of Christ, many of us would have been part of those people who crucified him, born in a manger, son of a carpenter. There was no end for him. Luke 2, 7. So he was born in a manger with the animal. None of us would have identified with him. And he also identified with the poor. It's time Nigerians, especially the church, start thinking about the poor. There are many, many, many unemployed youth and unemployable youth. So many people can't go to school. So when we spend our money, I think we should have them in mind. I, I thought deep about today. And I can't understand. But I got comfort in the word of God. The alabaster oil. And somebody said, why would this be done? I take a little comfort in that. I took a little comfort in that. And I said to God, I said, let today be like Solomon's 1,000 offering. That's big. 1,000 offering, just to God. Just one day. So I want to believe that. Today God will take the glory. Jesus Christ is not a religion. It's about truth of life. He wants to cut every division that separates man from God. 
He died so that no one would go to hell because there is hell. And there is heaven. Believe it or not, I won't take a chance. You say there is no hell. So be you. That's your talk. That's not God's talk. But the point is, if there's heaven and truly there's hell, I want to go to heaven. How do I get there? Is the question. Listen to me. I'm where I am now because of my experience in life. I was on the Broadway going to hell. But something happened in my life. In Liberia, I saw that. So I was humbled. Maybe you read my autobiography in my book. I don't want to speak for too long. But let's leave that alone and talk about ourselves and our country, Nigeria. If you don't do something about the less privileged and the poor, we will be in danger. Because the people are hungry, they are helpless, and they are hopeless. And they are going to be a danger to everyone. It's already a trend. So it doesn't matter whether you believe or not. It's whether you want to live and enjoy your wealth or not. I have a project. I have uttermost part. I have Adulam project. And Christians will understand that. Those who are distressed, indebted. First Samuel 22, 1 and 2. That's where I took the cue from. Those who are disgruntled and frustrated with life, they gather in the cave of Adulam. And David became a captain. And those people became great. That's my vision. And I was with them. I didn't know when time passed. It's time we begin to empower the poor. Give attention to those children who can't go to school. They displayed for me today. Those, those are the things we were doing. Well, I don't want to preach a sermon. If you are my friend and you love me, join me in reaching out to the poor. When next I celebrate, if the Lord tarry, I will celebrate there so that you can see the project we are doing. Let's train them to be carpenters. They don't really need to be doctors. Let's train them to be bricklayers. They don't really need to be lawyers. Let's train them to be able to do some things you know, that will make them useful. There's an army of unemployable, unemployable market. An army of unemployed and unemployable. That means they are human beings, but they can't apply themselves to anything because they are not trained for anything. It's a bad story for this country. It's time we begin to pay attention to them. I'll read a few scriptures. And then I'll close. And then I'll believe that some of you will go out here paying a little more attention to the less privileged. That's what Christianity is all about. Second Timothy 2, 11 to 13 says, It is a faithful saying, For if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we shall also reign with him, and if we suffer, sorry, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. If we believe not, yet he abided faithful. He cannot deny himself. Hebrews 11, 24 to 25. 
by faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Ephesians 2, 12 to 14. That at that time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. Commonwealth, commonwealth. Just like they are, we are, some of us are aliens to the commonwealth of Nigeria. But we'll join the commonwealth very, very soon. My prayer is that power will change hands from the wicked to the righteous. Wealth will change hands from the wicked to the righteous. Nobody is saying amen. He said, and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without going in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off and made nigh by the blood of Jesus Christ. For he is our peace, who hath made both one, and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. No poor, no rich. No Greek, no Jews. I wish there would be no Boko Haram and no kidnappers. That everybody will live in peace. But without Christ, the Prince of Peace, where will you find the peace? First Corinthians 26, 31. As I round up. For ye see your calling, brethren, now that many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are God. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confirm the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of this world to confound the things which are mighty. And base things of the world, things that are despised, are God choosing. Let me stop a little bit from here. As I draw my conclusion. People, Nigerians, it's time. It's time we look outwards. And looking what? And begin to show some concern. That is what God in is all about. There's so much poverty in Nigeria. So if we all agree with ourselves to pay attention, if we all challenge ourselves, so I want to challenge everybody. That we can let go a little comfort and attend to the less privileged. People told me a lot of stories. There will always be poor in the land. Yes. It's so that we can help the poor. They are a trial to us. I must give attention. Please enjoy yourself. Please enjoy yourself. But don't forget that some people, <laughs> they don't have hope for the next meal. I appreciate my wife. She's an answer to prayers to me. And I can't appreciate her except I appreciate my mother. My mother is here. She's like three years old. Mama, can you stand up? That's my mom. If you can't stand up, just wave. Just wave. She's 93 years old. She's, she works by herself. When it was time for me to get married, I said, God, give me a wife like my mother. Because that's what I saw in her when she was growing up very supportive of my father very industrious and God answered my prayer I want to appreciate all of you who have come to celebrate me I pray that all of you will be celebrated you are not saying amen, amen. please let's be happy let's be happy today is a day of joy <laughs> I want to thank God that you belong to the rich you will get richer in Jesus name you will be celebrated. You will not mourn. 
you will not sorrow. And if for one reason or the other, there is sorrow hanging around there, the Lord will comfort you. I appreciate the sacrifice you have made to be here. I know what it is because people will invite me to places and I say, wow. I tell my wife, please, sorry. So for you to come, some people came from Kaduna, from Zaria. It's amazing. If they told me before they came, I would say, why bother yourself? The country is very dangerous. So I thank God that God granted you, Johnny Masses, to come here. I appreciate it beyond your understanding that you came here. No matter where you came from. Some people made excuses that they can't be here. I accept their excuse from the bottom of my heart. But you have come. You won't go back the same. You go back with a load of blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. Before I round up, I am happy to be with people of God. Some, some governors made excuses for me. I have a friend who was a governor in Kwara State. He was my schoolmate. I spoke to him. They made excuses. There are not many politicians here. I don't know if there is one or two, but I, don't, I can't see anyone. Because it's a different world. <laughs> this is a world. Where we are going is different. But I'm excited to see people like Daddy Ko, Daddy Osho, Mumio Deshola, and many of the senior pastors around that are here. Very glad. They are the great people. And I celebrate them. And I'm honored in them. One day, Daddy Gio called me by phone. And after he spoke to me, I got excited. I told everybody, Daddy Gio called me. My I told them, that's Daddy Gio. My wife said, why is he excited? I said, that's my president. That's my president. I'm excited. I wouldn't want Buhari to call me and I wouldn't get excited. He won't call me. Where will he get my number? So, you see, it's a different world. And I'm praying that you enter that kingdom. It's the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will not miss it. It's an eternal kingdom. God bless you. God bless you. Alagi Bala, thank you for coming. Very good friend of mine. Alagi Bala, are you here? I want to recognize you. That's the bank man. The bank man. The bank man. There was a time, and Victor, are you here? He was reminding me of one time we ran into debt. For four years, we were into debt. We prayed. Daddy G also prayed with us. We got out of that debt, but they were part of it. It was their bank. So it's real. God brought us out of debt, and today, his name is being glorified. God bless you for coming. God bless you, and 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 God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe you can do better. Come on. <laughs> Daddy, thank you very much. Uh, God bless you more. In your word, you said that I quote that um, people came in from Kaduna, from Zaria, from all across the globe because of this party. That, in case you don't know, I flew into Nigeria this morning because of this event, all the way from the UK. And when I'm talking about UK, I mean University of Kano. Is it not UK? Even if it's Urubo Kingdom, is it not UK? Uh -huh. Daddy, why you were giving your, why you were addressing us, sir? You also said that um, we don't just have armies of unemployed people; we also have unemployable people. Am I right, sir? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ajele. If I crack any joke that is not funny to you this afternoon, I'm a graduate. 
Give me a job.
for them. <laughs> I like it when people, you can do better, come on, you can do better, come on. Thank you. Whenever we try to show off our culture in this kind of uh, way, I love it especially. And that is why I try as much as possible to recognize my people anywhere I see them. If you are proud to be a Yoruba man, a Yoruba woman in the house, any time ba wo ni yo. Eh eh, I be no wa. On wa everywhere. Amo e ja kin so nko fun gbogbo wa ko se gbo nko ta ba nse laye yi. Gege bi omo Yoruba ko nse dondo ni ka ma kinyan. A le kinyan pa. I'm telling you, as you are seated, a typical Yoruba man will greet you. A typical Yoruba man will see you in the morning. He's going to greet you. He meets you in the afternoon. He meets you in the evening. 
What if he meets you at night? Eka. If he meets you at home, Eku. You are coming from outside. Eka. He don't reach like three days when he see you last. Eku jome. You are somewhere enjoying yourself, Uncle. What if you are somewhere spraying money? What if rain fall beat you? What if you just born new Peking? If you do your birthday, Uncle. What if you just marry a new wife? Okay, if your wife come on, go. She don't want to get killed, you know. Until you have to say, Lord. A good deal. Arm robber came to rob in my area two years ago. The following morning, one woman saw me. One Yoruba lady, she said, Ah, uncle, a good arm robbery. Money to you know, a day. And you walk over me. Don't want to get killed, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ajele. I studied microbiology, but today I am holding the microphone. At least there is micro. If you are laughing at me, I can tell you that at least I am better than my friend that studied law. He is now working with Loma. Is there no law involved? Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a short program, but believe me all, or trust me, it is going to be exciting, it is going to be exhilarating, it is going to be fun-filled at the same time, it is going to be spirit-filled. To take us further, I would like to invite to this beautiful stage a wonderful group. They are native, they are cultural, and they are original. It's been a long time coming. I <laughs> defer to 12 years, right? And they are coming here to wow you with pure good music. Ladies and gentlemen, why not give it up for Agnon Jesu. Praise the Lord. We want to say, Daddy, congratulations, sir. Happy birthday. We pray for you. You will celebrate many more birthdays in Jesus' name. In good health. And you will not miss your reward in Jesus' name. If Jesus' tarry is coming, you will celebrate 70, 80, 90, 100, even 120. Amen. Hallelujah. Some, some people say, ha ha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, sir. Amen. Oh 
saying is that he wants to dance and if you want to join him you want to spray him this is the best time for you to do that and if I tell you want to spray him don't you can drop it two baskets people want to spray dollar on the left people want to spray naira on the right <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> naira on the left dollar on the right pounds please come and see the celebrant in his house and you just so let's go Loretta, I am a logo, a cool re, Kishé, me moshe, Kishé, a bala me, Kishé, Tito, Pipi, Levi, that miss you, Baba, what's all we bear? Kishé, me moshe, Kishé, a bala. Come here, sixty. Olu alo je ko she she. Ewa ya kone bo she dupe. 
Hallelujah. We came purposely for him, for God in his life. And we have a culture. And our culture is when we are celebrating, we want people to know that there is glory of God upon our life. So in that your insurer, take something out. And he will say, Hey Lord, you are so good. Lord, you are nice. Hey, Lord, you are wonderful. My Lord, you are excellent. So good. Lord, you are so good. You are so good. Lord, you are nice. Lord, you are wonderful. My Lord, you are excellent. Is your name excellent? Is your name? Oh, my God, look, good, good, bad. 